So today I'm in the lovely town of Shamrock, Texas. A town with that classic Route 66 look. This town got its name from a nearby Irish sheep herder named George Nickel for good luck and courage. Got a post office in 1890 and the railroad came through in 1902. Shamrock grew with the discovery of oil in 1926 and the establishment of Route 66. It has since declined since the mid 1900s. Hanging out along Route 66. So this is one of the big reasons people come to Shamrock, Texas to see this old retro gas station and cafe. The U Drop In. It's nice that they have a restroom here. Built in the early 1930s along the new U.S. Route 66. You can get just about any service here at the U Drop In. I wish I'd been alive back in the 1950s and 60s during this town's heyday. So this is the historic Magnolia gas station. As you can see, it opened in the year 1929. So right next door to the Magnolia gas station is the Pioneer West Museum, which we will try and visit tomorrow morning. Formerly the Reynolds Hotel, built in the year 1925. There's Quana Parker. This was Comanche territory, this part of Texas, for 150 years. They dominated the paint handle. Beginning around the year 1725. Ooh, the parlor room. Look at that. Beautiful. Here we've got the general store room. So far, this museum is very nice. Well done, Shamrock. This is definitely the scariest room in here. Another of the many gorgeous murals around town here in Shamrock. I just love these nostalgic Route 66 motels and their character. Not like the soulless box hotels of the modern age.
So this morning I'm just west of Shamrock in the town of McLean, Texas. And so a sign at the barbed wire museum said this was the first Phillips 66 gas station in Texas. Right here on Route 66. So just west of the town of Shamrock is the Devil's Rope Museum. Barbed wire changed Texas, that's for sure. Alright, here's New Mexico and Texas. And all the little towns along Route 66. Here we are in McLean. This room is actually pretty large. Wow. Quite a collection of barbed wire. I never knew there were so many. The Old West. All these tools. I never knew a barbed wire museum could be so interesting. So about 30 minutes northwest of Shamrock is this really neat historic site in Old Mobiti, a small little town. So we're gonna explore these historic buildings. So this is the old jail built in the year 1886. First jail in the panhandle of Texas. Right next to the jail is an old home. Such a peaceful setting here in Mobiti. Seems like every small town in Texas has a Masonic Lodge.